everybody, Alison here from Keep Healthy Living. Good morning, welcome to our KHL exercise studio and welcome to our Court and Four class. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Looking forward to today's workout. I've got some new exercises for us and also some new music. So before we start today's workout, you will need a chair because we've got some seated exercise to come later in the class and you'll also need a floor mat or something comfortable to lie down on because we've got floor work at the end of the class. You also need to have plenty of space around you with nothing to trip or fall over and nothing sharp to knock into. Before you participate this morning, you need to be feeling fit and well free from any medical conditions, illness or injury and you must not participate in court and floor if you are pregnant. If you've got any questions, please message me in the box at the side or you can like the page just to let me know that you're joining me. Always lovely to hear from you and always happy to answer any questions you may have. So if we're ready to start, find a space, I'll cue the music and off we go with a warm up. Back tall to me and tight, we're just going to start by marching through. Big marches. Four, three, let's knee lift the right knee up for four. Lift it up. Four, three, two, one. Other side, lift. Four more on the right. Lift it up. Two, three, and four. Other side. Now two knee lifts on the right. Lift it up for two. Other side for two. Now singles. Four, three, two, one. Hand curl up. Heel to bottom. Body weight forward. Back tall. Four, three, two. And now we're going to single, single, double. Single, single. And double. Other side. Heel to bottom. Keep it going. Single, single. Double. One more each way. Shoulder shrug that right shoulder. Up we go. Two, three, and four. Circle those shoulders round. Take it round. Back to me and tight. Four more. Four, three. Give me a heel and toe right leg. Heel in four to the toe to the floor. Warming up the ankle joint. Four, three. Now changing to the other side. Heel in four to the toe to the floor. Four, Three, shoulder shrug that right shoulder, lift it up. Four, three, two, other side. Circle those shoulders round, bend the knees. Four, three, two, one, knee lift the right knee up. Four, three, two, on the other side, lift. Four more on the right, up. Now four on the left. Two more on the right this time. Lift. Two left. Now singles. Back to that hand curl. Heel to bottom. Body weight forward. Back to all to me in tight. The soul turner. Now single, single, double. So we're going to go single, single. Double it up. Single, single. Double it up. Again. One more time. Now march the feet wide and narrow. Take it wide, take it narrow. Heels down, back tall to me in. How are we doing? Four more. Three. Two. Let's take those hips around to the right now. Let's take them round. Other side, take it round. Pelvic squeezes forward, squeeze forward, release. Twice more. Let's get warmed up this morning. Round again to the right. Take it round. Round to the left. Help squeeze it forward. Squeeze it forward. Release. Twice more. March those feet wide and narrow. Take it wide. Bring it narrow. How are you doing? Now marching, marching forwards to me. Give me one clap. Double clap. Get us all warmed up on this cold, cold February morning. March it wide, march it narrow. Heels down, back tall to me in. We're going to turn at the waist this time. To the right, push forward. Hips stay facing forward. Just the upper part of your body moving. 
four more. Three, two, last one now. Bend, bend to get the weight. So over, pull it up. Hips stay facing forward to keep the body moving. One more each way. With our head, we're going to look to the right. Look right, look centre. Look left and centre. Glancing up. Looking down. Glancing up. Looking down. March it wide, march it narrow. Heels down. Are we feeling warmer yet? Heel into the water with the toes to the floor. Four, three, change to the other side. Heel into the water with the toes to the floor. Four, three, march it, march it forwards to me. One clap, double clap. Clap, hips around to the right, second time. To the other side. Now pelvic squeeze it forward, squeeze it forward, release. Squeeze, release. Four more like this. Four, three, two, and last one. Relax it there. Okay. We're going to start with our hips about hip distance apart, toes pointing forwards. First of all, we're going to get our position. So try and imagine you've got a, your pelvis is a bowl of water. You're going to put one hand on the front and one hand on the back. And we're just going to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So whilst we breathe in, breathe out, we're feeling it through our whole body. So we're breathing in and out of our hands. Breathe out. Now, as you breathe in, you should feel your pelvic floor lift and release. So, breathing in, pulling out and release. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Twice more. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, from the position that we're in, we're just going to squeeze that pelvis so we're squeezing from the inner thighs tiny little movement squeeze it press it forward squeeze it keep it going press squeeze it there keep going squeeze Four, three, two, one. Relax it there, and we're just going to do some little squats now. So we're going to push back, squeeze up, push back, squeeze up. So we're not coming too far down. We're just pushing the bottom back, squeezing up through the thighs. Down, push up. Down, pull up. Tiny movement, not too low. Down, squeeze up going. Down, squeeze up. Weight into your heels. Keep your body weight slightly forward. Twice more. Hold it there. Release it. Just squeeze it. Squeeze from the tops of the thigh. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one, relax it there, grab your chair, we're going to hold the back of the chair, now this time we're going to come a bit lower, but to avoid putting any stress in our knee joints, we're going to use the chair for our support, so our body weight goes forwards onto the chair, so take your bottom back, bring it up, make sure your knees are in line with your toes, both parallel, facing in the same direction, so we're not putting any stress in the knee joints. Push your bottom back, squeeze up with that pelvis. Bottom back, squeeze up. Keep it going. Push back, squeeze up. Now 
Now, if you're feeling confident with that, you can try and take the bottom a bit deeper. Push back, squeeze up, make sure that body weight is forwards. Holding on to that chair. Squeeze it up. Four more. Three more. Two more. And last one, rest it there. Okay, we're gonna put one foot in front of the other. Okay, so your outside leg away from the chair is forward and your other leg is behind. Front knee slightly bent, back knee just soft. And we're gonna reach over from the corner as if we're pulling a string from behind the chair. So we're gonna pull, push. Over, pull back. So this one's a really good one for working down the core. Now you're keeping your hips facing forwards all the time so that your pelvic floor has to engage as you work the core. Four more, three more, two more, and last one. Hold it there, bring your hands in front. Hands up in front of the body and again we're going to keep the hips facing forward and we're going to turn towards the chair. So we're turning to the chair and back. Again, keeping those hips facing forward so that the pelvic floor has to engage. Four, three, two, one. Now slow it down. Relax it there. Okay, we're going to put the chair over to the other side. Feet facing forward. Prepare to squat. Two bottom back. Pull up. Down. Pull up. Feet facing forward. Down. Squeeze up. Push your bottom back. Squeeze it up through those thighs. Up through that pelvic floor. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe out. Breathe in. Four more. Three more. Two more. And last one. Relax it there. Okay. Making sure the outside leg's in front. Front knee bent. Slightly back leg straight. I'm going to start by reaching that string from behind the chair. Over, pull back. Keep hips facing forwards. Tummy inside. So as we keep the hips facing forwards, our pelvic floor has to engage. Over, pull back, keep going. Four more like this. Four, three, Working down that core. And last one. Rest it there. Keep your feet where they are. Hands in front. And we're going to turn towards the chair. Ready? Off we go. Chair and back. Again, keeping those hips facing forward. Four, three, two. Slow it down. In and out. In and out. Twice more. And rest it there. Okay, taking that chair. And we're going to sit down on that chair now. Feet facing forwards. And we're going to just take the heat a little bit apart. And we're going to pull up and squeeze the thighs together, squeezing our pelvic floor. So we're squeezing up. Imagine we're pulling ourselves up off the chair. Okay, let's go. Let's squeeze it in. Squeeze it out. Squeeze in. Squeeze out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep it going. Feet flat on the floor. Squeeze in. Squeeze out. Nice and controlled. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep going. Working those inner thighs. Nice and 
nice and controlled. Coming in tight, shoulders relax. Four more like this. Four, three, two, and last one. Relax it there. I'm just going to turn sideways on so you can see me better for this one. I'm going to do a seated crunch. So I'm going to take the hands in front, back tall. We're going to take the body back and use the tummy to pull us up. Also, as we pull up, we're squeezing that pelvic floor, so we're engaging that pelvic floor at the same time. Take it back, squeeze it up. So we're using the tummy, and the bonus is that we work the pelvic floor as well as we do that. Down, squeeze it up. Keep it going. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep going. Four, three, two, and last one, rest it there. Okay, keeping the feet where they are, but we're just going to take them a little bit wider apart now. And we're going to squeeze those thighs together, working the outer thighs, but using the pelvic floor. So we'll squeeze in, squeeze out. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Try and imagine that you've got a balloon between your thighs and you're wanting to pop it. Squeeze in. Squeeze out. Pulling up from that pelvic floor. Squeeze in, squeeze out. So working the inner thighs and the outer thighs as we do them. Squeeze, squeeze. Two more. And last one, rest it there. Hands back in front of the body. We're going to do a second set of those seated crunches. Shoulders back, to your back. Squeeze it up. Use that pelvic floor to squeeze us up. Keep it going. Pull up. Back. Pull up. Really working the core hard with this one. Four. Three, two, and last one. Rest it there. Feet just a little bit more than hip distance apart. Second set. Let's squeeze those thighs together. Squeeze them together. Release. Try and relax your bottom if you can. Really lift it from the inner thigh. Squeeze in. Release. Squeeze in. Release. Control it on the way in and the way out. Squeeze. Twice more. And rest it there. Okay, placing our chair to one side. Next, we're going to just grab our floor mat. Ready for some floor work. Okay, so the hard part here is positioning the mat on the floor where you can see me. I think we're all right there. Okay, toes pointing forwards. We're going to slowly roll back onto our back. Okay, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, so we're protecting the back. Head in line with the spine, and you can just relax your hands at the side. We're just going to start by breathing. So breathing in, and breathing out. If you want to, you can put your hands on your tummy and your ribcage again. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So as we do that, we're feeling it through our body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice deep breaths. Feel that pelvic floor engage. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep it going. Breathe in. Breathe out. Twice more. One more time. Okay, let's have a little pelvic squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Little tiny movements. Relaxing your bottom. Use those inner thighs to squeeze that pelvis. Four more. Three more. 
two more and last one now bring your heels in a bit nearer to your body if possible so you can touch your heels make sure your body weight is in your shoulders and not in your neck and we're just going to lift that pelvis up off the floor making a bridge shape pelvic bridge hands relax down your sides if that's not comfortable you can cross your hands over your chest instead it's up to you so we're just going to squeeze squeeze press that pelvis forwards squeeze press it up weight into those heels check the weights in your shoulders not in your neck four three two and this one we hold hold it here and relax it back to the mat place your fingertips out side of your head or sliding up your thighs we're going to go for some straight tummy crunches now lift and lower breathe out breathing keep going lift and lower try and imagine you've got an apple between your chin and your chest and you want to keep it there keep your head in line with the spine breathe out breathe in tummy in tight back flat if you prefer you can slide your hands up your thighs it's up to you which version you do four more like this three two and last one relax it there hands back down by your sides and go back to that pelvic squeeze again just press it up squeeze squeeze it off the mat squeeze four three two one lift it up off the floor up, up into your pelvic bridge you choose where you want your hands across the chest or down by your thighs let's squeeze it up squeeze squeeze press that pelvis forward squeezing the upper thighs imagine that you've got that balloon between your thighs again and you want to pop it try and relax your bottom if you can so it's squeezing from that pelvic floor squeezing between those thighs really good one for turning the inner and outer thighs this as well squeeze it up four three two this one we hold hold it there squeeze four three two and relax it down fingertips back by the side of your head and this time we're going to drop the knees so the feet are flat on so the knees are out to one side you check your back is supported head in line with the spine and we're just going to lift and lower lift and lower breathe out breathe in tummy in tight nice and controlled breathe out breathe in four more like this four three two and last one bring the knees back together heels flat on the mat and we're just gonna finish by pressing that pelvis forward squeeze Heels press into the floor. Squeeze your pelvis. Squeeze. Four, three, two, and relax it there. Okay, from the position that you're in, we're going to roll right over onto our front. Hands flat on the mat. And we're just going to press the pelvis forward, feeling the stretch through the tummy muscles. Give it a really nice stretch through. 
and relax it down now. Place your forehead onto your forearm and take hold of the, the one foot. And press the pelvis forward, feeling the stretch down the front of the thigh. If you can't reach your shoelaces, you can hold your sock or the bottom of your leggings, which is best for you. Give that thigh a really good stretch. The stretches are an important part of the workout too. Particularly this stretch, because the quadriceps are one of those muscles that if it's tight, it can cause the pelvic floor issues. And relax it there, so we're going to do the same on the other side. Press that pelvis forward. So as you can see, it's important that we stretch it out. Give it a really good stretch through. Hold it around the shoelaces, or if you can't reach the shoelaces, hold on to your sock. Press that pelvis forward. And release there. Pop yourself back up into your abdominal position. Press your chest forward. And if you're quite comfortable with that, hold it there. If you want to stretch a little bit further, providing you've not got any back issues, you can push yourself up into the full cobra position. Keep your hips facing forwards, stretching through. And now pushing yourself up into an all fours position. Palms under shoulders, knees under hips. Just pull your tummy in and round your lower back, giving you a lovely lower back stretch. Really stretching out, straightening those muscles in our back. And just release it there. Slide your bottom back, pull your hands forward, feel a stretch through your bottom. Now pull your hands back and come onto your toes, little scrouch squat position, hold it there, rounding that back, head looking down at the floor, now take one knee forward, the other foot forwards, press the pelvis forward, feeling a stretch here in the hip flexor. And relax it down, we're going to do the hip flexor on the other side. So foot forward, press the pelvis forward, stretching it on the other side. Feet flat on the floor. And relax it down now, come into a sitting position. Place the soles of your feet together, ease the legs down, giving a really nice stretch through your inner thigh, back to all as you can. Now we're going to straighten one leg and reach the hands over towards the straight leg so we get a really nice stretch through the hamstring. Stretch it through. And when you feel that stretch start to ease, just bring your arms a little bit further. Now that foot that's against the leg, I'm going to take it over the other side. We'll get in with the opposite arm so we feel a stretch down through the outer thigh. Leave your legs exactly where they are. But now put the same knee and elbow together and look over your shoulder so you get stretched down through the sides of your body as well. Release it there, return back to centre. I'm going to change over to the other side. So straightening the leg, placing your footprint against your thigh and reaching down towards those shoelaces. Feeling a stretch through that hamstring at the back to stretch where it's right for you. As long as you can feel the stretch down through the hamstring, that's the right position. 
and now you're just going to take those arms a little bit further forward to increase the stretch, developing your flexibility. Now that foot that's against your leg, we're going to take it over the leg and hug it in with both arms, feeling a stretch down through the outer thigh. If you can't feel that stretch, just bring the foot a bit nearer. Just feel it here. And then now taking the same knee and elbow together and looking over the other opposite shoulder, feeling the stretch down through the sides of your body. Opening out that chest. Release it there and slowly in your own time return to a standing position and just place your mat to one side. We're going to take one leg back, toes pointing forward, knee bent down, back leg straight, both heels press firmly into the floor. And as we do that, we take the right hand between the shoulder blades and the left hand over the top, walking the machine from the front, giving those arms a really nice stretch. Bring your back leg in so the toe is opposite your heel. Sit down on the back calf. And swap over your arm to the other side. So your body weight's on that back leg. And you should be able to get that That leg tapping. We're going to slide it back now as we continue to stretch the arm. Put knee bent, back leg straight, both heels press firmly into the floor. Release the hands down, put the arms forward. And stretch the upper back, giving yourself a hug. Release it there, bring the back leg in top, sit heel, sit down on the back calf, hands to the small of your back, press your chest forward, feel a stretch across the front of your chest, and just tap those front toes, giving you a stretch through the back calf, and in your chest. Release it there, place one hand on the side of your head, and the other hand down to the side, stretching along through that neck flat. Release it there, do exactly the same move on the other side. Careful not to pull on your neck. Now that hand that's out to side, we're going to take it and switch over the palm, hold between the joints and look over your shoulder. Give it a good stretch through. And release down, same on the other side, bring that hand up, hold between the joints and look over your shoulder. Release it there, bring the arms up, big deep breath and release them down. Now just turn your right toe to the corner, down the leg, reach up and across your body, feeling the stretch in the inner thigh and down the side of your body. Release there, straight that knee forward, toe forward, opposite toe to the corner, lunge down, reach up and across your body. Feeling the stretch down the side of your body and in the inner thigh. Finally release it there, give me a big stretch up, and release it down, one more time, reach it up, and release it down, give your hands a shake, give your legs a shake, and give yourselves a well deserved bath. All worked out, all stretched out, hope you enjoyed our new workout this morning with our new music. We are taking a break next week because it's half term, but we will be back the following week with more fun floor. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.